Please wipe off your shoes and come on into Valley Wide Parrot Rescue. Today I will be showing you the day-to-day -day workings of a parrot rescue. You will see how we maintain, feed, rehabilitate, play, and give our hearts to these amazing creatures. So whether you are looking to adopt your first parrot or are experienced and have so many birds that you do not know what to do with yourself, this video is perfect for you to gain more knowledge or just to get some entertainment out of. The first thing we do when we get to the rescue is we open up the cages to our birds. We want them to be able to play and have a good time and even mingle amongst each other, so why keep them in the cage? This is Bliss, she's a very friendly conure and she loves playing on top of her cage. Next we have an African Grey, his name is Coco. Coco loves to talk. And this is Scooby, another African Grey that we got in recently. Scooby, uh, he came, he was a little bit shy at first, but slowly but surely he's really opening up to us. And these are our Indian ringnecks, this is Poncho and Spider. And last but not least, we have our two Pionas, Maya and Miguel. Now it's feeding time, and I like starting by feeding our cockatiels, because these guys, there's a lot of them in the cage, and they usually finish all their food by the end of the day. So early in the morning, you gotta go and give them a fresh new bowl. And I love watching these guys, they all clamor around. The really cool thing is that a lot of times when you have a lot of birds in one cage, especially when it comes to food, they start fighting each other. But as you can see, these guys are really friendly towards each other. They're not pushing each other out of the way. They're kind of encouraging each other to eat. If you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe. When you're done with this video, why not check out another one? Bliss is a really funny eater. She likes to bobble her head around, uh, really get <laughs> messy and get her food everywhere, and this is her favorite mix. Scooby is a slow eater, except for when it comes to human food, he absolutely loves that. And here we're hand feeding him, which he enjoyed. Now we're gonna go to our Pionas parrots, who are looking as bright as ever. People ask me all the time, what's the best way to clean a bird's cage? So I made a quick video. A few simple steps, just power wash, make sure to get rid of all the clumps, then take out a parchment paper, Fold it, fold it, put it in, slide that in, and you're done. This is Snow Cone. She was actually rescued by us uh, quite some time ago, and the owner brought her in for boarding. And I miss this girl a lot because I did a lot of rehabilitation with her back in the day. I worked a lot with her, and it was just such a joy to see her back here, and she really missed me, and I did miss her too, so we were having a pretty good time. After the birds are fed, you gotta sweep up. They always drop food, they always lose feathers. The floors are always a mess, so you have to make sure you're cleaning it every single day. This is Coco, he is one of the African greys we have here at Valley Wide Parrot Rescue, and he is one of the best. I really mean it, he talks, he plays, he hangs out. Um, whenever you're not giving him enough attention, he'll straight up come over to you and be like, play with me, give me head scratches, I need more attention. And he's just an overall joy to have around the rescue. You want to make sure that when you're playing with your bird, you're not just stimulating him physically, but also mentally. For example, Snow Cone loves to play with Legos. She likes the different colors, she likes to move the little blocks around, she even puts some of them together. And I know some people are going to ask, hey, is it safe for birds to play with Legos? I just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't swallow anything and they'll be fine. Bliss is an extremely friendly conure. When she first came in, she was a little uneasy, you know, it's a new environment, she's kind of curious, looking around, very intrigued by the other birds, but she kind of just wanted to do her own thing, you know, she doesn't want to step up, just wants to play around her own cage. She even played with a lot of the other birds, but with people, she wasn't, she wasn't exactly hatching on. Today we had our meet and greet event, and Bliss met somebody that she absolutely fell in love with. Before long, she was adopted. That's just one success story. That same event, we also had another success story with Coco. 
We were looking for a home for him, but we needed to make sure whoever it was going to be was actually experienced with uh, African Greys. Lucky for us, we found somebody who actually hand-fed African Greys since they were babies and raised them. Uh, slowly but surely, they created a beautiful bond, and they ended up going home together. See you later, Coco! Love you! Today, we also picked up a new rescue. This is Lolita. She is an Amazon parrot. She has been crippled for quite a few years now. One of her legs is bent out of shape. Thing is that she is very, very nice. She is sweet, she talks a lot, and a lot of times birds, when you first come to them, they're not gonna be so trusting of you. And I'm telling you, just show them love. When you show love, they will reciprocate it, and within no time at all, you guys will be great friends. After the bath, you have to make sure that you dry your parrot off very well. You do not want them getting cold or sick. We're not going to dry her off completely because it is a hot day, so these birds do like to stay a little bit wet. But we're going to now introduce her to her new cage. And because she is crippled, it's harder for her to walk. However, she does like to hang around the cage and hang onto the sides and move around. And she really likes the flat perches. So we have a few layers here in the cage, a few stories. That way she'll be able to go from one story to the next and kind of have space to crawl around wherever she needs to in the cage. Our rescue is always expanding. In 2022 alone, we assisted in the rescuing and successful rehoming of 210 birds. We have an exciting new project that I would love to share with you. We are currently building a sunroom for our parrots. This sunroom will be able to house 25 majestic creatures and let them enjoy the sun and comfort. We are not fundraising to start building. We already paid for the construction and we are almost done. In fact, we just purchased the paint and tiles this week. Now, we are raising money to help cover the cost of construction and to raise money to install a proper AC system and other adjustments. You can actively make a difference by going to our Facebook fundraiser and donating directly through there. Your money will not just go to a building that will be built sometime in the distant future. It's being built now. Well, I had a great time. And if you did too, please like, subscribe, and check out some of our other videos. Till then, I'll catch you later.